within the inventory cost principles and perpetual versus periodic methods section of the course we will be talking about inventory costs what will be included in inventory cost a section that seems fairly obvious obviously the cost of the inventory what we pay for it, the sticker price of the inventory that we purchase will be included in the cost but there are also some other things that we need to take into account including just about anything that we need in order to put that inventory into placement for it to be sold including things like shipping costs possibly insurance costs we need to take into account any discounts that we may be getting as we get a purchase discount on the inventory we're also going to talk about the perpetual and periodic methods of inventory this will be an introduction to those methods we'll get into more examples of those methods in later sections but it's important to understand whether or not in which system we are using either a perpetual system or a periodic system meaning that as we make sales under a perpetual system we are recording the reduction in the cost in the inventory and the increase in the related cost of goods sold whereas we're in, in the periodic system we will only do that periodically at the end of the day week or month and record the entire month's worth of decrease in inventory and related cost of goods sold.